At first, our mind will be very busy, and we might even feel that meditation is making our mind busier. But in reality, we are just becoming more aware of how busy our mind actually is. There will be a great temptation to follow the different thoughts as they arise, but we should resist this and remain focused single-pointedly on the sensation of the breath. If we discover that our mind has wandered and is following our thoughts, we should immediately return it to the breath. We should repeat this as many times as necessary until the mind settles on the breath. Psychedelic drugs are confusing, and it's easy to get very different views about them depending on who you ask. On the one hand, enthusiasts, not to mention a small body of scientific research, have long claimed that, when taken responsibly and with the proper supervision, so-called classical psychedelics like LSD and psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, are a safe way to smooth the path towards tranquility and spiritual enlightenment. On the other hand, Ever since the cultural spasms of the 1960s and a subsequent government crackdown on these substances, the archetype of the hallucinogen burnout has loomed large in the public imagination. That is, people who try LSD or shrooms, sometimes even just once, are forever ruined by flashbacks and other symptoms that eventually drive them to a state of full-blown psychosis. It's in the morning for most of us. It's that time, those few seconds when we're just coming out of sleep, but we're not really awake yet. For those few seconds, we're something more primitive than what we're about to become. We have just slept the sleep of our most distant ancestors, and something of them and their world still clings to us. For those few moments, we are uninformed, uncivilized. We are not the people we know as ourselves, but creatures more in tune with a tree than a keyboard. We are untitled unnamed, natural, suspended between what was and what will be, the tadpole before the frog, the worm before the butterfly. We are for a few brief moments anything and everything we could be, and then we open our eyes and the days before us and we become ourselves. I'm erased, I'm gone, I'm nothing, and the world is free to flow into me like water into an empty bowl, and I see, I hear, but not with eyes and ears. I'm not outside my world anymore, and I'm not really inside it either. The thing is, there's no difference between me and the universe. The boundary is gone. I am it, and it is me. I am a stone, a cactus thorn. I am rain. I like that most of all, being rain. <laughs>